Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So, uh, let's have a look here. We didn't do anything between episodes. I uh, got all the mechs back and repaired. Just going to have a quick look here. Uh, it's been a little bit since I had a look at that. I think pretty much all of the mechs are still the same. I did a couple of minor alterations to some of them and I can't remember what it was now. Let's go to equip mech here. Uh, SRM LK ammo. I think that's this guy. Yeah, maybe we put the SRM double in here. I can't remember now. There wasn't a whole lot that we did though. Uh, we got the Centurion. I think I know what it is. The Centurion got up and running. Um, let's have a quick look here. So we took the LB20X off of the um, Urban Mech and we put it on here only because um, the Urban Mech had a speed of two. So we put it on this thing so at least we can get this LB20X into battle. Now we've got a pair of LRM5s here as backup weapons with half a ton of dead fire and a full ton of regular LRM ammo. And we've got three tons of uh, LB20X uh, ammo, which gives us a total of 15 shots, which is plenty. Now instead of the um, recoil reduction, I, w I went with the uh, ballistic improvement here, only because it gives a 25% ballistic critical which is great uh, because that's going to add up with the 50% critical from the cluster ammo. So hopefully we can be critting a lot with this thing. I noticed we've been getting a lot of uh, ammo explosions on the enemies, so I'm hoping we can capitalize on that with this. And then uh, the Urban Mech. What do we do with this guy? I can't remember what I did with this thing now. Not much. Oh, we put the yeah we put the mortar in here. You know, we don't have a lot of ammo for the mortar. We got some Inferno, some Flare, and regular mortar ammo. There's enough turns of firing here to, to sustain it for a battle. And then an ER medium laser magna. I upped the core from a 60 core to a 140. So at least we've got some movement now. I think it's like 4.7. Four, yeah, 4.7. So we've got some movement on this thing. Added the plus one indirect fire accuracy um, to this to increase the uh, accuracy of the mortar. But this will be for defend ba base missions. It'll just sit there in the back and fire mortar rounds off and have the ER Magna laser just in case we need it. Now it's got a little extra range and a little extra damage on this, which is why I put it on this guy. If we have to pull it off later, we can do that. Um, but it's a it's a, it's about the same range as an ER medium laser, but it does more damage. Now, of course, it's got more heat, but this thing is so heat efficient that we don't have to worry about it. Uh, what else? Um, I think that's it. No, wait. Um, did we do something between episodes? I can't remember if we did. Oh, the double heat sink kit that we got. That was what it is. Uh, that ended up going on to the Archer. Um, just to keep things nice and cool. Now, we've got a ton of incendiary ammo here. Uh, I shifted all the ammo from this torso over to this one and put case two in. Um, now I know if we get hit on this torso we could lose all the ammo, but still at least you know we won't lose the uh, the mech that way. Because um, if this side gets hit, we could lose the mech if we had ammo here. So just try to minimize what we had. Um, we got to see one and a half tons of Artemis ammo, which is really accurate. A bunch of incendiary ammo and two, uh, one or sorry, a double ton of uh, LR ammo. I'm planning on using the incendiary and the Artemis ammo. Um, because we have the fire control system Artemis, it's way more accurate. So we're going to go that route. It's also got the ECM in here. I think that's it. I can't remember if there's anything else I did. Now I don't remember. You'd think I would remember, but I was up really late last night working. Um, I can't, re and it was two days ago when I recorded. Anyway, I can't remember if I did pull off a mission between episodes or not. I don't think so. Well, we went past the financial report and Arachne's out of action. Did she? Oh, we did do it. That's right. Sorry, I did pull off a mission. Um, it was a ha one skull ambush com or uh, ambush patrol. Sorry, half skull ambush patrol. And Arachne, I remember now. She got kicked in the leg by a. Uh, she got kicked in the in the leg by a locust, fell over, and then a Clint uh, took a paw shot and hit her in the head. So she got two wounds, um, almost taken out completely. <laughs> by a locust and a, uh, a clint. Anyway, we there was a uh, um, uh, a good version of an urban mech in that that we took out. Um, so there was a couple of things that we got off that. I can't remember what it was, but uh, I sold most of the stuff that we, we picked up off that mission. All right, so today, I know what we're doing today. We're going to go right to the command center, and we're going to do Code of Silence 
for a pirate uh, uh, rep here. I'm going to negotiate. I'm going to go full salvage and accept. So this is an assassinate mission. And Arachne's out. So we're going to bring Hotshot in now. Do I want him there? I think so. I think so. Yeah, I did bring the urban mech on that. That's right. I was going to test out the urban mech to see how it would, how, how it did. And that's when I discovered that it, it had that really bad movement. It had it, full sprint. I, I crap you not in open terrain was two squares with a 60 engine in it. So that was like completely like even if it was defending a base, it's completely useless, which is why I put the ultra in the uh, in the centurion. But let's pull out this guy and let's give let's give him the centurion. Um, now, do I want to go long range or short range? Well, this has got a good variety of both. Uh, let's go this route. I want to try out the LBX on this thing, so we'll take it in the battle today. Um, yeah, let's go this route, I think, and deploy. Okay, here we go. Uh, looks like it's just us. And we've got our guy up there. Looks like a spider. Looks like a spider, but it could be one of those, um, what's it called? Um, there's a couple of versions of spider. Okay. Beat the brushes about the target's head. Oh, we do have some guys here. What do we got? Striker light tank. Urban Mech LRM. Okay, that's actually not bad. Chicada. And a Prowler. Alright. Uh, looks like this is the Defending Lance. So that could be an Ansazi or... What was the other... Is it called a Goblin? I can't remember. Affirmative. Let's move up, guys. Affirmative. People. On on Alright, Centurion's got okay speed. So the reason why I put the double heatsink kit in the archer, it almost seems like it's like, you know, almost like de like a defeating the purpose of the double heatsink kit. But the archer seems to be heating up a fair bit, especially when it's in combat, um, relatively close to the enemy. So I thought by putting the double heatsink kit in that, it would keep up the mobility because once it starts to fire and it gets pretty hot, he can't move anymore. So um, that's why I kind of thought it would probably be a good idea to um, to do that. All right, those guys are moving up. So very shortly we should have good rep with the pirates. Acknowledged. Move order confirmed. Move order received. Not moving the lamb up yet. Not until we get uh, contact with the enemy. Looks like these guys are trying to stay up with me, which is kind of nice. So I'm also seriously consider. Oh, I'm on up, up on, I'm up on a hill, because of course I am. Roger. Aye, aye. Confirmed. Centurions in the lead. Uh, what was I saying? Sorry, I'm tired today, guys. But I'm just excited about playing, so that's why I'm playing. Uh, I was saying something. What was it? All oh, right, I don't want her to. I don't want her to jump ahead just yet until we see the enemy. Then we can leap in. Moving out. All right, we got contact. So Whitworth. What do you mean it's an unknown? Oh wait, what do we got over here? A wasp? Okay. Um. Engaging dump jet. Let's engage this wasp. Yeah, I can still only see two. Wow, great chances to hit. Uh, I'm gonna leave the barrage off. I don't want to be using it on this guy. Um. And I think we just go with standard ammo. Try and shred as fast as we can. Okay, good damage. So I was thinking as as I was loading into the battle that I don't think I'll do 
I'm not going to pull off any more missions in between episodes, like half skull missions or anything. How can I help? If um, if I'm going to do half skull missions, what I'll probably end up doing is um, I want to finish this wasp off. Probably. What I'll probably do then is just do them as second missions in uh, in episodes, just to pull them off. Because I'm starting to forget now what uh, missions I pulled off and which ones I haven't. So this is why I want to go with Artemis. The range is just like amazing and the clustering. So wherever we hit, uh, so I'm going to do an offensive push here. And most of these missiles will most likely hit the, the uh, target location. I'm going to go for CT because I want to get rid of them. Oh yeah, I upgraded the lasers to medium lasers too. Nah, we didn't get it. We hit a different location. But if we have a look at them here real quick. Oh, we did. We mostly hit the CT on that. So the other thing they're doing is adding damage to AMS. You can see here we've most well, a lot of them hit the CT and both torsos actually. So, Commander. Um, but what they're doing is they're adding damage to AMSs because what they what they want to do is um, add hit points to missiles. So that when an AMS fires, let's see, we're we gonna go up to this guy or the other guy. So when an AMS fires, it has to do damage to missiles. So some of them will be a little bit more resistant to uh, to AMS. Let me go standard. Let's go with cluster and dead fire. Got it. All right, not bad. It's going to be more devastating the closer it gets, obviously. We're still pretty far away. Come on, you guys got to finish that guy off. I don't want to have to fight him again. Waiting for orders. All right, hotshot. Let's get up here. Confirm. Fire on that Whitworth, please. Okay, so... Where are we here? Standard... It's all pretty much the same. I'm going to go standard. It's a little better chance to hit. Just fire. Four hits. Eh. Could have been a lot better. Enforcer. So that's a 50 ton. This guy's a... Whippers are 40, aren't they? 40 or 45? Something like that. Um, what I should be doing, I, I, I never actually thought about it till between episodes, was on the lamb, we've got the tag. I should be pushing that right to the top. Um, of the fire list so that it goes off first and hopefully we can tag the enemy before the, uh, the SRMs hit. Better not hit me. But they did do another update. Um, this is, like I said, two days after the last episode I recorded, which would be, which would have been episode 10. So this is episode 11. Um, they did do another update. They did some fixes. Um, yeah, so, um, and no problems. Once again, that their work has just been stellar. The, the fact that you've got the, the launcher that just detects if there's a new version, and then you just you click on it and it uploads it for, like it does all the work for you basically it's just so nice you just have to the, the only thing i don't like about it is now i have to like wait for it to uh to upload oops so we should do this first right and i don't really want the whitworth so let's i'm gonna put the barrage at the top Gonna use it well. Yeah, let's use it on them as well. I don't think the higher percent. Well, doesn't matter if the higher percentages go first or not. I don't think it matters. Anyway, firing. Rear armor it is. Looks like we hit them. Okay, we got a flea back here too. But yeah, the the. My God, Rotec is just so good. The launcher is so amazing. The fact that you can just, if you don't like the way your game settings are, like what you, how you've got it set up, you can just go in and change it. It's brilliant. It's just brilliant. 
I ignored that wasp. There's no point. He's almost done. Hopefully the our allies will will finish him up. We're gonna deal with these these guys right here. Let's not get too close to him though. And I can't target this guy with the mouse, but I can this way. Um, that's dead fire. If we go SRMs, LK, better chance to hit more damage, I think. Well, yeah, slightly. All right, firing. Oh, nicely done. Is he gone? Target neutralized. Okay, so the barrage should still come in here. Brilliant. Somebody said, what happens if the mech dies and you target it with a barrage? Well, the barrage will just land wherever the mech died. Brilliant. Artemis man for the win. Firing. ER medium lasers for the win. Finally, I'm feeling like the archer is like now at a point where it's like half decent as a mech. <laughs> Got some half decent targeting. And uh, Ready for orders. let's sprint up here. Ah, the Centurion. We need a bigger engine. Um, we could finish this guy off. Let's see if we can finish him off. Why not? Nope. Scored a critical hit. Good hits, though. Now I'm hoping that guy at the back's not an Ensazi. I hope it's like a, one of those uh, goblins or whatever they are. See ya. I guess I should have fired to get the, at the flea. Oh well. It's interesting that uh, Enforcer might go into the barrage here. I don't know if they can see that. The thing is, is I suppose they could because we can. So, it really limits the effectiveness of that barrage. Okay, we're gonna go hunting for the other guy. Okay, we got our resolve high enough now. So it takes about three turns to get our resolve up. Let's jump into here. Now, I know he was back here somewhere. I'm gonna take a guess of where. Uh... Where'd he go? Was it the Enforcer? I no, there he is. It's a spider. Okay, we don't have targeting. Good to go. So somebody was asking about the 360 degree arc on the um, on the uh, urban mech. So we'll see if we can take a mission mission next that uh, shows that. I thought I did one already with the with the 360 Urban Mech. It really is brilliant. I keep saying that, but it's true. It's absolutely true. All right, let's hit this guy again. See ya. Battle next down. It's. I think we're getting a lot of crit hits on the ammo. Which is why a lot of these mechs are dying real fast. Waiting for orders. Which means that we really start need to have to start getting case. We have one thing of like regular case left over that can add somewhere, but it's half a ton. With Still not enough, eh? That hit something good. Well, we're not really seeing a good, good. Uh, Example of the Centurion's potential. We need to get ferrofibrous and a lighter engine. Drop it in there, I think. Yeah, thanks for showing up. We'll easily be able to take another mission after this one. 
what we'll do is we'll send in the B team. I'll only send in a few mechs. Okay. Alright, that sounded like heavy lasers. That sounded like heavy lasers. Let's move. I'm gonna leave the fleet of the Centurion. Oh, that guy disappeared. Oh, he's out of range because we got dead fire on. Um, let's go thunder. And we'll have one of these guys fire chaff. Yeah. And then hopefully... There we go. Hopefully... Wow, really? You got that right. So they were saying that HE shells, I don't think you need to move. They were saying that HE shells will uh, destroy minefields. So I think if you're going to lay a minefield, make sure you're not dropping HE on the same guy. Now look at this, 60% to hit still, or 14% to hit, and the other guy's was 0.9. Uh, but I'm going to switch to incendiary. All right, B. Not quite here. That looks l like it will probably be in short range. Probably. Fingers crossed. As long as we can see them. Wow. Bad chances to hit, but we're using it. Huh. Come on guys, finish up that flea. Who's going? 12. This guy goes on 20. It's the flea, I guess. He's running. Eyes on. Here it comes. Copy that. There we go. Target eliminated. Yeah, Centurion, I mean once we I uh, the LBX is nice. It's okay if you get close with it, but I wish we could I wish we had more. Enemy turn. Let's see what he's going to do. I guess that was my chaff that went off. I guess he had rockets, eh? Huh. No point in wasting the uh, heat and instability. We'll just run it over here and fire. Okay, I've got the tag on. Heat's been increased. Ready for order. Wow. Full speed. Try and get up some, a little bit higher. Close the gap a little bit. See if it helps. Probably not, but because we sprinted. But let's fire the same loadout. Work on those legs a little bit. Eh. Meh. Okay, let's go hopper first. I don't think you need to move, bud. 18% with incendiary firing. Wow, only plus four heat, huh? Okay, what are you in range with? Oh, the dead fire. 
Uh, we got two more turns of dead fire. Let's just fire the regular ammo right now until we get close. Eh. Failed to connect. Yeah, it's all right. Come on. You can do it. All right. Aye, aye. Roger that. All right, let's get our stability back. Got this guy stuck between a rock and a hard place. Let's see if we can get a barrage on him. Enemy Looks like we did. Not getting a lot of heat on this guy. Aye, aye. Doesn't really matter if we go in the pink terrain. That just uh, gives us more stability. Makes us harder to knock over. Uh, sure. Negative damage. Yeah. Talk to me. It was a pipe dream, but that's fine. Let's just start walking it up there. All right, uh, incendiary. Copy that. Nothing. Order. Closing the gap. It's interesting when the barrage is on it, I can't actually, oh, we can barely. Weird. Um, uh, sure. Locked on. Come on, man. I just want your parts. Just give them up. Just give up them parts, buddy. Nah, here we go. Another round. You're making it difficult for me to strip all your parts off you. Okay. Frustrating. Got the angle. Taking the shot. I was hoping to make him bail out, but no such luck. I'm going to go way back here, because that guy can jump. And if he jumps near me, I'm going to be taking damage, and I don't want that to happen. I don't think he can jump as far as I can. So he's got rocket launchers. Light damage, Commander. He did not move. He did not move. Direct line of sight now. Yikes. Let's go. This route. Apply a little bit of damage to this guy. Yeah, nothing. I've got your back. Just don't move, buddy. Well, that's nice. Maybe I should stop messing around with this guy. I'm trying to max the salvage off him, but I don't think it really ma matters. Sure. No joy. Oh, we did miss the barrage, I guess. I thought we hit the barrage, but I guess we missed. Yeah, he's moved out of it. Oh well.
Okay. That's a whole lot of miss. Yes, Commander. Uh, I know where you are. Copy that. Not gonna jump in the fire, though. How are we doing here? Yeah, we better start. Let's get serious on this guy. Start applying some damage. Okay, Dervish has got to move to the right. Standing by. Let's get our little bit of stability back. Not bad. Alright, a little bit of damage. Not bad. Finally getting some damage on him. Solid connection on that one. We'll take it. Got something you want done? Yeah. I want this guy dead. No I want his family dead. I want to go over there and be able to piss on his ashes. Um, let's go this route. Roger that. How can I help? You can help by applying a little bit of damage. Little bit of damage. Little bit. Wow. Artemis. Look at the difference, eh? He didn't move though, so... See ya. Yeah, the clustering is just insane now. Mission successful. So as far as I can tell, our clustering is, is really good on the on the Archer now, because we have plus four for the pilot and plus nine more for the, uh, the um, Artemis system. So it seems to be hitting really well. Spider A, 45 tons. Yeah, it's Ensazi, okay. Was the Ensazi handheld MRM ten? Why does it use a Panzerfaust? Uh, it's got like a Panzerfaust icon. I'm gonna throw that in there because that looks actually pretty cool. Um, medium X pulse. I could take the mech parts, but I think I want this stuff. AR-12 sheath beacon. That's great. Battle Fist Mark III. Uh, it's just plus one melee accuracy, plus 20% damage. Um, fire control system melee, plus one accuracy. Going to throw the endo steel in there for, for now. Um, prototype double heat seek. Oh, man. If we were looking for just, just for a, a melee build right now, this would be perfect, but... No, I think we go for immediate upgrades. This means we'd have to pull the uh, Gladiator out of storage and rebuild it and everything. I think at this point we're going to go for immediate upgrades and then we'll look at getting some of this stuff later. Now if we do get this in the random roll, I'll think about bringing it forward, but we'll see. So this is... Where does this go? 4 ton handheld, minus 1 accuracy, uses MRM ammo. So I guess we have to have MRM ammo for that? I'm going to take it just in case we find some. Because that's interesting. Heat zero. Slots one, zero tons. Uh, I'm not going to say no to that. All right, we've got the three, sp <laughs> three spider parts, flea part one. we got all the, almost all the mech parts. What else do we get? Armored cowl, plus one injury resist, plus one guts. Um, let's just hold on to that for now and get rid of these guys. Heat sinks. How many do we have? 26. We don't need those. We don't need the jump jets. Don't need the sensor basic. And we don't need the LRM ammo. It's nice to be able to sell all the junk now right here. All right. We'll keep the rest of this stuff. Looks pretty good. All right. Like nothing in damages again. Beautiful. Let's get these repaired real quick. We'll take another mission. Uh, I'm not going to upgrade anything just yet. We'll wait between episodes and do that. There we go. Now, um, I want to get Arachne back. No, I think, she, well, yeah, probably. Come on. 
Don't lag. Hate when he uses extra days like that. Uh, okay, command center. What do we got here? We can do maintenance base is a defend base mission. It's a little long. Last mech standing is a battle in the jungle against pirates. We don't want to go against the pirates though. We we're, we're trying to get as much um, cred with them as we can. Raiding party. Intercept the Canopy and Lance and destroy it. Two skulls though. I don't know. Can't bring the urban mech for that. That's pirates. We don't want to do any work for the magist magist the Magistry of Canopus. I can't say it the other way, guys. I'm sorry. Capturing a base. Here we go. Impact on pirate activity bonus. It is one skull. Let's just do this real quick. Get the uh, little bit of uh, credit. I mean, we could go this route, but it's not. Let's just grab whatever gear we can get off this. Let's accept this. And then we're going to go and pull out this guy. We're going to bring in... Arachne at the top. Hotshot's going to run the urban mech. And take Queen Bee out. And I'm going to bring Scrambled in, because why not? And she can run the Minchian for this turn. This run through. And we'll go this right and see how it, do, how it works out. Okay, this should be a relatively easy mission, I think. There's the base up there. Uh, looks like our allies drop right beside the base. They dropped us over here to be safe, I guess. Urban mech. Copperhead Mark II tank destroyer. Another urban mech. And a Copperhead tank destroyer. Okay, well, whatever. We'll have to move up over there. To Interested to see how far this urban mech can actually move now. Yep. Alright, let's get up here. Centurion's a slowpoke in this lance. It's balanced out before. All right, looks like we just have to occupy the base here. On the move. Copy that. Come on, buddy, move it. So one of the things they did change is that they changed. Uh, they said they balanced out the the heat damage, I guess, for missiles and stuff. And they did um, made it harder for, if I remember correctly, they made it harder for um, thunder ammo to hit its target, um, so that it'll have a, a larger chance to proc a, a bigger minefield. Moving to position. So it'll hit the target less, but produce m a bigger minefield around the target. Um, I think that's the goal. So hopefully we can do more leg damage. This should go real quick here. See, this is one of the reasons why... Garrison's on patrols on the way back, huh? Mm -hmm. That's fine. We'll take care of them when they get back. So they're looking at doing, I guess, bigger minefields. So we'll see when, with our thunder ammo if we can actually get... Uh, um, uh, bigger minefields and more leg damage. But with that spider, that last mission, it, I think it tried to jump out of the minefield. Mm -hmm, I'm going. Got it. Okay, Centurion, cover in the rear. Centurion's going to be good for city fights? Where the enemy won't be able to get a direct line of sight on him until he gets a direct line of sight on them. Uh, okay. Now what? Where's the enemy coming from? I'm guessing here. I have no idea. Over the hill, probably? This way? Oh, wait. This, this is this base defense. They're probably coming from this side? Maybe? Um, let's move you back this way. Good to go. Urban Mac can move forward a little bit, I think. And Shen up here. On my way. Centurion's going to move to cover the Irby. So they should come from this side, I think. It'll be 
it'll be uh, eight against four. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Sure is. Reporting yep. Enemy contact. What do we got? Zar? Fire starter? And a wasp. Okay, cool. Maybe there's one more back here too. This is forty tons, isn't it? Hussar? Weird looking though. Commander. Uh, how far can you get up there? I got it. Don't think. Don't shoot. No. Nope. We need all three of those, please. Wow. Uh let's go standard. ER large, okay. 134 armor though. Wait, is this a fifteen ton mech? Or 20 ton. You are a large laser though. Wow. So as much as I want to move the urban mech over here and have his back facing them to just show you I can shoot them, it's probably a bad idea because his back armor is pretty low compared to uh, this front armor. Ow. Pirate Wasp. I better not lose that mortar. Wasp's gonna take a full force of the uh, of LBX-20 in a second. Oof, these guys are good, tar good uh, shooters here. You have my permission to shred that guy. Come on, buddy. Figure out what you're doing. Maybe it is just the three of them. Okay, let's just go up here. Just going to use the, the long ranges on these guys. Wow. We need to get uh, Artemis ammo. All right, Wasp it is. I was hoping getting up a little higher would give me a better targeting chance, but not apparently. Okay. Think I'm going to use the slug on this one. Here it comes. Oh, we missed. Figures. Ready for orders. So you can see here, even if I'm facing the other way, doesn't matter which direction I'm facing, I can still target them. Location confirmed. It's really brilliant, I gotta say. Um, let's just go with flare first. Okay. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Beautiful. Not beautiful that you're taking heavy hits, but beautiful that we hit them with the uh, flares. Yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. Where are you going? Yeah, see, he's facing the other way, too, and you can still shoot behind him, right? It's kind of nice, because uh, if you have a fully armored Irby and your front takes a lot of damage, you can just face him the other way, use the back armor to defend yourself with, and then still fire at the enemy. Gonna moonwalk behind me, are you? You're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret that. Yeah, it's okay. You're going to make him regret it in a second. Alright, what are they doing? Fire starter! Oh! Somebody's mask did some damage. 
I've got a mask, but like I said, it's yes, it's one of those web one of those things that you don't necessarily. Jeez, man, what do I want to target here? Probably this guy. I don't know. Uh, the mask is okay, but it's like it's tough because um, just turning it on gives you a ten percent chance of failure. Still the same, huh? Switch this to SRM. Still the same. Well, let's see if we can shred this guy. Okay, a little bit of good, little bit of, of damage on that guy. We're gonna back up and hit him with the uh, cluster ammo in a second. Can't have him shooting us with a large laser again. Then we'll mortar these guys. Well, maybe not. Working on getting behind that Centurion for sure. So I think we're going to move forward and turn around then. Yes, Commander. Ah, man. I'm listening. Putting my nuts in a vice here, dude. Guy's woefully out of position. Um, it's a little better. Here you go. Four or five hits. Five hits. Okay, not bad. Waiting for orders. Uh, you have to reserve, buddy. You got a reserve. Yes, Commander. On the move. Full speed. Okay, let's get up here. I turned the wrong way. Crap. Oh well, it would have been better on him. Alright, gonna switch to, switch over to cluster firing. That's a kill. That guy had no armor though, so. Interesting to find out how much that guy weighed. I thought I thought the Hussar was like 40, 40, or ton, 40 tons or something, but I guess maybe it's only like 20 or 15 or something. ER large lasers, five tons. And it didn't seem to be that fast, so I don't know, maybe it is 15 tons. Well, that was pretty ineffective. Standing by. Okay, hot shotty. I get you. On the move. Get up a little higher, help out a little bit. Drop the mortar on this guy. Because that way we can do AOE damage to our teammates. Because they always do it to us. What the hell? What the hell was that? Oh my god. Wow. I was so far... I don't even know what to say to that. That is so ridiculous. Maybe the flare ammo set, or the, yeah, the flares set off the ammo or something. Oh, we got LK. It's the only thing I can think of. Because we had, we were penned in the back, right? It's the only thing I can think of. Wow. If we lost that mech too, like in the LBX-20, it's like... <sighs> it would figure though. It would figure. Receiving you. 
Don't know what else I'll put on the thing now if it's uh, if the LBX is gone. I'll figure it out, but I mean. That's, you know, I don't even know what to say to that. That's ridiculous. Especially since it was like. Okay, that guy's back up again. Should probably switch to SRM. Okay, a little better. Marginally better on this guy. But we might be able to blow his torso off if we go this route. Or we can kill him too, that'll work. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more that must what must have been of what had happened is that the AOE of that I don't know if it's like it's got it's a mortar six, so I don't know if it fires six separate shots or I don't know. Wish I knew more about how those things worked. Let's not be in the uh kill area. Okay, we're far enough back, right? Let's go with standard mortar ammo. Man. We most likely lost a fair bit of ammo. I think I want to pull the mortar off of that uh, urban mech until I can figure out what the deal is with that. I mean, I guess we could leave it on and just use it for base defense. Have a seat, buddy. That was okay. Arachne should be able to rip this guy apart now. Oh, man. Gonna leave that off for now. Taking the shot. It's so scary now. No luck. Like I don't even know what to say. I'm trying to figure out because I saw when the numbers went off, I'll have to have a look at the replay. The numbers went off, I only saw one red number. It was probably just some ridiculous fluke. There it is. Mission successful. Yeah, I don't know. Like... We got a backup standard fusion engine. Ah, the whole right side's gone. I don't even know if we lost the mech or not. Uh, Uzar is 30 tons. Okay. ER large, that's a possibility. ECM is a possibility. SLDF standard. Night vision. Doesn't give me any, inf any info though. Ferrofibrous is definitely a good possibility. Triple Stanks Myomars, eh? Twenty-seven heat activated, twenty-four heat deactivated. SLDF sensors. I should grab these three though. I know we don't have a prototype double heat sink kit, but I have no idea what there's how um oh this is nice too. Uh, let's just grab that. Hopefully we'll get a lot more of this stuff anyway. Okay, so we got looks like almost everything. I don't need that. We've already got one of these. I don't want a second one. Standard fire control system can go. The heat sink can go. The jump jets can go. So, yeah, we didn't get the SLDF sensors, but we got the cockpit, so that's the most important thing, I guess. Standard fire control system. Mm. All right. So, they need to end... Wow, look at that. They need to end the... Um, 
hitting your own mech if it's between you and the enemy when you're firing indirectly like that because you're lobbing it way over their head. So somehow the mech got hit, it got hit in the back, it did one point of damage to that torso, it connected with one of the um, it connected with one of the tons of uh, LBX ammo and blew the whole side off. That's about the only thing I can think of that happened. And it's so random. Oh well, not much I can do about that now. Anyway, so I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to get the Centurion rebuilt, figure out what we're going to do ballistic-wise with that thing. <laughs> I don't want to turn it into another missile build. But uh, we'll figure out what we can do ballistic-wise. We've got a few things we, can, we have available to use. It's not going to be incredibly powerful, but, you know, we got a few things we can throw in there. Um, and we'll get it up and running. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.